This dark purple powder is potassium permanganate. It has a lot of uses, but today I'll be using it as a chemical fuse. To start the fuse, I'll add a couple mils of common glycerin. After a short delay, the mixture ignites, producing a brilliant flame and lots of heat. This is an example of a combustion redox reaction between a fuel, glycerin, and an oxidizer, potassium permanganate. But the fuel and the oxidizer don't always need to come from separate chemicals. This orange powder is ammonium dichromate. It forms beautiful orange needle-like crystals. But don't let its appearance fool you. It is dangerously carcinogenic and reactive, so do not try this at home. To the mound of the ammonium dichromate, I'll add a little bit of the potassium permanganate, and then a couple drops of glycerin to light the chemical fuse. This catches fire, creating enough heat to push the ammonium dichromate to the point of thermal decomposition. And once the decomposition gets going, it creates enough heat to be self-sustaining. Part of what makes ammonium dichromate dangerous is it is one chemical compound composed of both a fuel and an oxidizer. In this reaction, the dichromate ion oxidizes the ammonium ion into two gases, nitrogen and water vapor. The dichromate ion is composed of oxygen and the shiny metal chromium, where the word chrome comes from, and it's what makes this stainless steel sheet stainless. It's pretty interesting because each chromium atom is in a rare state where it has six bonds. This is much more than normal, and it's what makes it such a strong oxidizer. As part of the decomposition, the dichromate is reduced to the green solid chromium-3 oxide, where each chromium atom has three bonds, which is much more normal. With all the gas generation during the production of this solid, it ends up super fluffy and gains a lot of volume, piling up until it starts to look like a bit of a volcano. Even though it looks so much bigger, what's left over is only about 60% of the mass because much of it left is gases. Now that the reaction is done, we're left with mostly this fairly inert chromium-3 oxide, although still contaminated with toxic, unreacted ammonium dichromate. But there is still some interesting chemistry you can do with it. Chromium is much less reactive than magnesium, and so chromium-3 oxide can be mixed with magnesium powder to make an exotic thermite. Here, the magnesium is oxidized and spectacularly reduces the chromium all the way down to zero bonds, spraying liquid chromium metal out all over the ground. Thanks for watching, and a special thanks to my patrons, especially the premium and VIP patrons listed here. You all make videos like this possible. If you'd like to help me make more videos, please consider checking out the Patreon listed in the video description, and liking and subscribing. See you next time.